guys, so because we are doing a dramatic look, I am starting out with my eyes and I'm priming them with Tarte. What is this called? The Tarte Shape Tape. I haven't used it in so long, so I'm applying that to my lids and then applying some tape to the outer corners. And then I'm going into my, my Makeup Geek palette and I'm taking this shade... I think it's called Peacock. I started out on an E35 from Sigma, but I switched over to an F63, which is actually a concealer brush, but it works perfectly for like precise crease work. As you can see right now, like it gives you such a nice precise crease. And I really love this color too. Then I'm taking the shade Mirage on a Sigma E70, and I'm just using that as a brow bone highlight and to kind of mesh those colors together and then going back in with the E35 once again just to kind of I don't know blend everything out then back with the F63 I'm picking up corrupt which is a matte black and I'm doing the same thing just following that line but keeping it a little bit lower down towards the lid and then I'm just taking some more of the shade peacock and I'm just adding some more of that above where we've just put the shade corrupt just to make sure the intensity is still there then i'm taking the urban decay after dark palette i'm not too sure if this is still available it seems to be on the urban decay website but i can't find it on mecca but i started out with that aquary blue shade called fringe and then i took some of the shade paralyzed which is like a deeper more of a navy kind of blue i love urban decay shimmer eyeshadows they're always so foiled and beautiful so I applied those with my finger and then I just took the F63 once again with no additional product and just blended out then I'm taking the Sigma liquid liner pen and I'm not doing a wing I'm just doing a thin thin line along my upper lash line to blend my lashes in then I'm just removing the tape and then cleaning up any fallout with my Garnier micellar water and just a little cotton round from Swispers. Then I'm taking the Sigma Long Lasting Eyeliner Pencil and I'm tight lining with this. Then for mascara, I'm using the, I think it's called the Bold and Bad Lash Mascara from MAC. So I'm using the big end for my upper lashes, obviously. And then for falsies, I took the Klepke Lashes in the style Mykonos and I used the Huda Beauty eyelash glue to plonk those down. Then for the face, I'm priming using MAC Strobe Cream in Pink Light, which you guys know has been my go-to lately. I absolutely adore it. And then for my foundation, I'm using the Cogendo Aqua Foundation in the shade 113 which is my pale shade because your girl is pale so i'm just pumping some of that onto my face and blending it out using my beauty blender pro and as you can see at the start it gives you fairly light coverage but i did sort of build it up a little bit to give me more of a full coverage and then to conceal i used tarte shape tape once again this one's in fair neutral and so I dotted it underneath my eyes and then dotted some down the center of my face just to highlight and even everything out. And then took the same beauty blender just using the more pointed end to blend all of the concealer out. Then just to add a little bit more coverage around my nose where my dermatitis is acting up I took the benefit Boing industrial strength concealer in shade 1 and just applied that around my nose then to set everything I am using the RCMA no color powder I started out with my Sigma f35 just for the kind of smaller areas of my face and then I switched over to a big old f20 to cover the rest of my face then to contour, I'm taking one of my favorite, I forget how much I love my Inglot powders until I start using them again, but I first of all took the contour shade 505 um, and just sculpted out my cheekbones and a little bit around my hairline and my temples and I used my F23 from Sigma to do that. Then I picked up a little bit of my bronzer shade which is in the shade F, I mean 
507, sorry. And I just kind of applied that more on top of my cheeks and then a little bit around my hairline as well. And then for the blush is the shade 21. I wish they had names, they weren't just numbers, but ugh. So I used an F40 to apply that to my cheeks. And then finally for the highlight, I used the shade 153 from Inglot, which is absolutely beautiful as you can see. It's one of my favorites. And I did just use a Real Techniques setting brush to apply this. This brush is actually really good for a multitude of different things. Concealer under the eyes, setting under the eyes, and I do love it obviously for highlights. So as you can see, I just applied it pretty much all over my face. And then I set everything down with my Fix Plus from MAC in Pink Light, which you guys know I love. Then back onto the eyes, I'm taking the shade Peacock once again on the F63 brush and I'm starting to buff this underneath the lower lash line. I did make my lower lash line pretty smoky with this, so yeah, I, I liked how it turned out. And then I did take the shade Corrupt on an E68 brush, which is like a big angled brush. And I just applied this right up against my lash line and turned it up in the outer corners. And then just took my blender brush again and blended all of that out. Then I applied my Sigma eyeliner pencil into my waterline. And then I went in with the MAC pigment in vanilla and just highlighted my inner corners. I did spray a bit of MAC Fix Plus just to make it pop a little bit more. Then I took the other end of that MAC mascara, the little tiny, tiny wand, and I coated my bottom lashes with that. And then I decided I wanted a little bit of that uh, like metallic aqua shade on my bottom lash line so I use Fix Plus first on that brush and then I just applied that to the inner portion of my lower lash line and I feel like it just gave it that pop I wanted. Then I took these little diamantes that I actually got sent from Benefit in one of their PR packages and I just applied three in the outer corner kind of following along where the wing goes the wing of eyeshadow and then finally for lips i used mac boldly bare lip pencil it didn't actually match the liquid lipstick i used but it's still good to have a guide anyway and you couldn't see it really and the shade i'm using is from klepke cosmetics it's the shade bougie these are a really nice liquid lipstick and they are from a local girl who actually lives in wollongong so i love supporting her brand and that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.